Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to formulate a relationship between the different parameters which are used to signify the growth of the crop. So let's start. Now the parameters in between which we are going to establish a relationship, they are the duty of a crop delta of a crop and the base period of the crop so one more time if we look at the definition part of these so the most important definition was regarding the duty of a crop now this term duty that was meaning the area of the land that can be irrigated with the unit volume of irrigation water that means if we supply one cubic meter of the irrigation water then because of that how much area will be irrigated that is defined as the duty of the crop so let's say this is the land which is irrigated because of the or with the help of the supply of the irrigation water and from this side we are supplying the irrigation water this is the volume of the water which will be supplied to the field now this land is having the area as a square meter rather it would be right to write the area as a hectares this is the area a hectare which has been shaded now now when the water is flowing over this this water will be occupying certain depth let's say this area is bounded that means it is within certain boundary and let's say these are the boundary walls so this boundary is this area within this boundary that is completely filled with the water and let's say the entire field is having the only one crop throughout the field now that crop is having a base period of b days that means the number of days which will be required by the crop for its total growth that will be equal to b and that time period is represented in the form of the number of days that means if we want to calculate this that means if we want to calculate this in the number of seconds so first of all this number of days will be calculated into the hours so this will be b into one day that include 24 hours so these will be the number of hours then this will be equal to b in 24 into 60 minutes then b into 24 into 60 into 60 seconds this is the base period of the crop in the seconds now the rate at which the water is flowing if we look at the definition part of the duty it is the area of the land which is expressed in hectares which can be irrigated with the unit discharge that means the rate with which the water is flowing that is one cubic that is also known as the one cubic meter per second and it is flowing throughout the base period and that base period we have already calculated so the rate of flow that is represented as capital Q that has been unit value that is one cubic meter per second that means volume of water supplied in one second volume of water supplied in one second that is is equal to one cubic meter so the volume of water so the volume of water supplied in the base period so if the one cubic meter was the volume which was supplied in one second so in the base period it will be multiplied by that time so it will be one cubic meter into b into 24 into 60 into 60 
Now, if we multiply this, this comes out to be 86,400 into B cubic meter. This is the volume of the water which is supplied in this base period. This volume was supplied. Now, assuming that there is no loss in terms of the evaporation or in terms of the percolation, there is zero loss. That means the total amount which is supplied that is stored in the field. So, the assumption is that assumption is that there is no loss of the water in the process of the supply of the water. Therefore, the water stored in the field that will be equal to the water which is supplied to the field. That means water stored in the field that will be equal to the water supplied to the field. So water supplied to the field that we have already calculated and that came out to be 86,400 times B in cubic meters. Now the water which can be stored in the field that will be equal to the volume of this shape. Now this shape that we have constructed that is typically the shape of a cuboid which is having the area as a hectares and this depth of the water in the field that is known as the delta of the crop that is represented by this delta and that is represented in meters. So the volume that is stored in the field, so the volume stored in the field that will be equal to the area into the depth. Now we know this area that we have represented as a hectares, this hectare unit is HA and this depth is represented as delta and that is in meter. Now the duty that is represented by capital D that is defined as the area which is irrigated under the influence of the discharge. Now that discharge value is assumed to be of one unit. Therefore this duty that will be equal to the area only. So that means under the unit discharge this area can be replaced with the duty. So this will be duty into this hectare is to be converted into meter. So the conversion is 1 hectare is, is equal to 10 raised to the power 4 square meter into delta meter that is is equal to 86,400 times cubic meter. Now on both the sides the units are matched. So from here if we look at the relationship this comes out to be D is equals to 8.64 times B by delta. So this is the relationship that we have derived for the different parameters that is involving the duty, base period and the delta. Now what you should remember that in this formula that this duty that we have calculated that is the area per unit discharge. So that means this is to be measured in hectares. This is in hectares per cumic. This delta is in meter and the base period that is in number of days. Then only we will be using this form. Otherwise the units have to be changed. So this D was representing duty. This del was representing the delta and this B is representing the base period. Now there are other relations also that are derived from this only. So that depends upon the type of the unit that we are using. This formula can also be written if we rearrange this as delta is equals to 8.64 B by D. And from here we will be able to calculate the delta for a particular crop. So from here the delta that we will be getting that will be calculated in meter. So if we calculate this delta if we want to calculate this delta in centimeters, 
that means this formulation will be multiplied with 100 to convert this meter into centimeter so the formula changes to 864b by d that is also one of the formula that is used so depending upon the type of unit that we are using or we want to use the formula will be varying so this is the complete formulation between these different parameters in the next video we will take a look upon the factors which affect the duty thank you